This is the equipment I actually use to film and edit my YouTube videos as a full-time creator. Now, there's a lot of equipment that I use periodically and it's really useful. But in this video, I just wanna share the like 10 or 12 things that I use for every single video. First up is the iPhone 13 Pro. This is my main camera and the footage that you're looking at right now is being filmed on the iPhone. And 90% of the content that I filmed in the past year was shot on this phone. Now I've talked to people who are really surprised about this because they're like, I film videos on my iPhone all the time and they don't look as good as your YouTube videos. I would say that the main reason for that is because of this next piece of gear that I use for every video, lights. Lights actually affect the quality of your video more than the camera that you're using. For my key light, I'm using the small rig 220D. I've got a big soft box on here and I have a high quality C stand for this entire rig. And then for a rim light, I have the Inky Gold Crow 60 watt video light. And it's because of these high quality lights that I'm able to film just using an iPhone. And here's a quick look at how I usually have my camera and lights set up. Directly in front of me, I have the camera. And then in front of me to the left is my key light providing most of the light for the scene. And behind me to the right is my rim light, which is illuminating the background and also spilling a little bit of light onto the edge of me here so that I stand out from the background a little bit better. And here's what the footage ends up looking like. By the way, I'll have links to all of these products in the description below. I'm using the Ulanzi X Aircross carbon fiber tripod, which is a great tripod with lots of cool features. But the thing that I like about it the most is that the legs extend out in a single motion. By simply twisting the end of the tripod leg, it will unlock each of these segments at the same time so that you can quickly adjust to any length, making it really fast to set up. On top of the tripod, I have a Ulanzi iPhone to tripod mount adapter which has a swiveling phone mount, making it really easy to switch between landscape and portrait mode. The audio quality on the iPhone is the one thing that's just not quite good enough for me. So I use this Cinco wireless mic that has a receiver that plugs into the iPhone and a wireless mic that clips onto my shirt. Now, when it comes to editing the videos, I use Final Cut Pro on my 16 inch MacBook Pro. And this is actually a base model with the M1 Pro chip. The only thing that's been upgraded is the storage, which is one terabyte. The base model M1 Pro is more than powerful enough for most people's video editing needs. The only thing you really should upgrade is the storage, which I would recommend having at least one terabyte on the computer and then a couple external hard drives to export things to. My desk setup is fairly minimalistic. The only reason I even have any extra equipment besides the MacBook itself is to make things more ergonomic and comfortable because I spend so much time at my computer. The desk is designed so that I can sit or stand and quickly switch back and forth. This adjustable solid metal computer stand puts my computer screen up at eye level, which really helps with my posture. Under here, I have two Lacy external hard drives that are five terabytes each. I'm using the Apple Magic Keyboard and this really inexpensive ergonomic mouse. And that's it. Those are the main pieces of equipment that I actually use. If you're new here, make sure to check out my channel or click on one of these videos over here and I'll see you in the next one.